What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Silverstorm Forge, Marvin Glassburn, Charday Raider, Sushi Overdose, Saren G. Tiso, Data, Big Geek, Strictly Psycho, Barnard Maddox, Logan Moreau, Eric Smith, Ellie B, Ultra Chara, Amory Dunlap, Joshua Selbishka, Randy Cheney, Fall of Man 20, Sec Clark, Neck, Anthony Greisel, Garrett McKinney, Miss Chris, Arnold, Richard Black, Mr. Happy, Marshall Selden, Tack Cap, Grace Shield, and as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, Bevan Brummett, and welcome our new executive producer, Vincenzo. Thank you all very much for your support. If you wish to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you wish to check out our Patreon, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Oops. <laughs> well, there goes the power. Uh, yeah. All right, open the door. Crack open some more of these. I just hate boxes. Boxes killed my parents. Our boy Loki is He's at dead. It again. He's at it again. Dead. For God's sakes. He died. I saw it. And guess I felt what? it. And guess what? What? He came back. Oh, yeah, he's a god like that. I forgot. <laughs> well, no. Well, that's one thing. Uh, he's also a... Uh, he al Also, it's an alternate timeline, Loki. Oh. It's the one where they tried to steal the Power Stone and instead... Or not the Power Stone, the Space Stone. Uh, or no, it was the Tesseract. The Tesseract... Did the Tesseract have the Mind Stone or the... No, the Staff had the Mind Stone. The Tesseract had the Space Stone. I forget these things. I'm sorry. But, yeah. <clears throat> he stole the Space Stone, and now, apparently, he is in some sort of weird uh, pocket thing where he's able to go anywhere and do anything and have fun. Nice. <clears throat> so, uh, it. I don't know if you saw the other one that we did. No, uh, I haven't seen any of the <laughs> trailers for this or anything for it. Well, if it's anything like... Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier has been Falcon and Winter Soldier is really good, man. If you ever have a chance, check it out. I will. Uh, and also, WandaVision, from what a lot of people have said, is really good. And this is another one. I can't wait to see what they're going to do. Uh, what Tom Hiddleston is going to do. I I know Tom Hiddleston. He's pro he's been playing this character for over ten years now. I mean, you got to figure he's just like, all right, let's mess around. Let's have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Except he says it in a very like. Very like classy and you know British accent that well, of actually course. sounds eloquent and official, and yeah. Well, I don't know. He knows how to speak uh, Southern hillbilly. Yeah, I saw him play Hank Williams. He, he he played it all right. He knows some Southern hillbilly. Yeah, Bill Hilly. Bill Hilly. <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna get this up on screen. Let's see what our good old boy Loki's getting into. Here we go. There it is. I know what this place is. Europe. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. <laughs> Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. Hey, Kitty. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. This is absurd. Sign this, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is absurd. Protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Aha. Uh -huh. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Nah. Dang it. You really 
really believe in this Loki variant? Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Yeah. Quiet. It is adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm ten steps ahead of you. You're not big on trust, are you? You can trust me. Hope you have studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. Might never do it again. <laughs> right. Believe when I see it there, love. Damn. All right. So, yeah. That's pretty damn happy. Our boy Loki. <laughs> our boy Loki. You know, doing his thing. Yeah. And in all honesty, I'm down with it, man. Yeah, I'm down with that. Because, you know, more Loki is never a bad thing. I remember when Loki was the only good villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. And again, it just strung from Joss Whedon being at the helm of it and not having any interesting villains. And then pretty soon you had, I'd say... I know Thanos to me is probably number one, number two, Killmonger, uh, Michael B. Jordan from yeah. Black Panther. I'd say he's a very, very close number two because Magneto was really, well, really good. Well, I'm talking like Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, now, Magneto know. though, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm just dude, saying Marvel freaking, movie villains. Yeah, Marvel movie villains, dude. Magneto is like one of the OGs, probably the best. In yeah, my opinion. and then there was a there was of course uh, everyone forgets. Actually, Frost from mm -hmm. Blade. Because I know everyone talks about how, oh, Iron Man's what started the whole Marvel craze. I'm like, no, Blade, Blade, homie. Blade funded it. Blade. Blade made the way for it to even be possible. Yeah. Fucking Wesley Snipes, dude. Yeah. Come on. Show, show some fucking respect. Doc Ock was really good, too. Yeah. Doc Ock and Alfred Molina did Green a great Goblin job Green Goblin was him. good. Green Goblin was all right. Uh, the thing with him was the hamminess of... Of Willem Dafoe, it can be, but uh, Willem Dafoe and Hamminess uh, go hand in hand to me mm -hmm. with certain things. And don't get me wrong, he's a huge like. Look at the Green Goblin comic books, though, man. Like they were hammy. They were, in which the dialogue again, from villains is super it, hammy. I know, and that's the one thing that separates like comics from from film is that in comics. You can read the line over and over again and come up with the right way in your mind to where mm -hmm. it sounds good in your head. But when it's on film and it's delivered in the hammy nature that it's presented as it is in comic, that's the thing with David Kep. David Kep's the one who wrote the first Spider-Man film, mm -hmm. and it shows because the dialogue in it—it's just like you're the one who's out, Gobby, out of your mind, and then also like so cheesy. Like even when the actors are comment are watching the film and are making commentary videos, and they're just like, "Oh, this line here, this line here. Oh God, that's so cheesy. Oh God, that's so that's so hammy." And then yeah. the second film, they fix a lot of the dialogue, and in truth, that's why I think Spider Man Two is, for me, probably one of my favorite Marvel films ever. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know Blade started it, Spider Man blew it up, and then. Iron Man and the Marvel X Men X Men help X Men was there too and also then of course the Marvel Cinematic Universe just blew up and I'm hoping that video games are the next step in that because we're getting Ugh, we're, Avengers uh, the Avengers video game is a dramatic misstep and misunderstanding of where good games come from. Everyone expects, hey, we're going to this big studio. They'll make a great game for us. Disney immediately gives the Star Wars the Star Wars lore over to EA, who has been voted worst video game company in a row three times. And then of course, for the Marvel games, they go to Square Enix and you're thinking or they go to Crystal Dynamics. And you think, oh, Crystal Dynamics, they'll do good. But then Disney has some demands. It's like, uh, we want this to be, uh, like, uh, we want this to be uh, a pay service. We want people to come back to this every now and again whenever we release new stuff. It's like, okay, uh, 
what about the baseline game? It's like, oh, oh, just just do like introduction stuff and make it to where all the ca characters can be playable. It's like, okay, so do you want like a finite? No, no, we want this to people to come back to this and keep playing it. It's like. But if there's nothing for six months, people are going to abandon it. It's like, no, they won't. It's the Avengers. People love the Avengers. Nobody plays the fucking game. I'm sorry. It, and, I w and I hope that m maybe one day after, I don't know, a couple years, it'll be like Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2, now, the one that that was shit on by everybody when it came out. The World is, War II game? Or, no, no, no. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, oh okay. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. Uh, the newest one is actually really good now. It's actually really fucking good. And I hope that Avengers has that and that eventually Crystal Dynamics is able to turn that game into something amazing. Yeah. But again, we'll just have to see. <sighs> These uh, series look pretty good. Though. Oh, yeah. Loki looks great. Well, Mar well, I'll say this. The Disney Plus, like, what? so far, they've killed it. That So, well... Except for Mulan. That's the only, like, really big misstep, in my opinion. What a misstep. Holy fuck. Uh, but they did great with The Mandalorian. They've done great with releasing films and putting stuff on, like, fresh stuff on there. Raya and the Last Dragon, that's that's a really good one. Uh, and then when the Marvel stuff started coming out, when WandaVision came out, everyone was just like, all right, this is actually really good. And they did Falcon and Winter Soldier. like, oh, damn, this is even better. And now there's this. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do because you're letting Loki go around in different multiverses and have fun. Gallivant. Yes. And somebody thinks they've got a collar on him, which is even more interesting. Yeah. And and that person who has uh, the collar, the supposed collar on him is Mr. Wow. Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. Can you believe it? Wow. <laughs> God. So I think that's going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This was Marvel Studios' Loki. Uh, this is the official trailer, and uh, hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you all in the next one. So I guess until then, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Chad. We'll see you, everyone. Peace out.